Let us all say amen. amen. We are very glad you came back to be with us this afternoon. Amen. And we are a group of peoples of character and color. We always have a good time when we come to Church of Canaan. This is our 32nd church anniversary. And like the pastor says, it's very subtle we come back in the afternoon. Now, several reasons for that, okay? My particular reason is when I eat, I'm just like the average person. I go to sleep, okay? So if you ate, we're going to try to do something this afternoon to motivate you, to make you stay awake so you will not fall asleep. Amen? Yeah. And then if you help us out and stay awake that long, at the end, we feed you and think home, you can go to sleep and sleep in peace. Amen? Yeah. Now, this is a good day. Yeah. And when you come to the house of the Lord, you should always come and get something, okay? Yeah. If nothing else, get a big laugh, you know? Don't come sad and leave sad, okay? Come smiling and leave smiling. And every time you see all these deacons up here, they're just as happy as they want to be. They're some funny guys, very good guys to be out with, okay? And you also notice this is the first of the month. And most people say the first of the month, the eager flies, okay? I have never seen any sad people on payday. Even the ones that didn't like you on payday, they are still happy. Looking at you now, you just smiling away. Because you probably got paid too. Amen? Yeah. This is another good day. Now we're going to do something different because this is the 32nd church anniversary. Guess what we're going to do different today? You got it. I'm going to start you off on a song today. Okay? Now don't cut me off. Won't you sing with me? Sing upbeat. If I sound bad, just sing above me. That way Miss McGee won't laugh at me. Amen? Amen. On three. Glory, glory, hallelujah. One, two, three. Glory, glory, hallelujah, yes, I laid my burden down, we glory, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, 
nor stand it in the way of sinners, nor sit it in the seat of scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in him and meditate day and meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the river of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, listeners, and doers of his word. Amen. Amen.
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy holy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. O oh, precious Father, the one that knows all about our troubles. Oh, precious, precious Father, the one who came to see about us in the midnight hour. Oh, precious Father, the one who came and saw about us when we were lying on our sickbed. Oh, precious Father, the one who came and paid our bills when we had no money to pay. Oh, precious Father, the one who fed us when we didn't have food in our cupboards. Oh, precious Father, the one who put, the one who put shelter over our head when we didn't have a head to lay down on. Oh, precious Father, the dear one that we call on his name each and every day. Lord, we come at this appointed time to say thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. For Lord, some of us been on this journey a long time. Some shorter than others. But Lord, we know that you are the author and the finish of our faith. And Lord, when I call on your name, you come and you see about us. Lord, so I just glorify when I just can call on that name, Jesus. And Lord, when I can't even open my mouth sometimes, Lord, I can just moan a little bit. Lord, I can just groan a little bit. And Lord, you know what I'm talking about. Lord, I don't have to say a word, for you know every inch of my body. Lord, you know what I was thinking before I thought it. So, Lord, I say thank you. Thank you because you brought us a mighty way, Lord. Lord, Lord, from a distant world, Lord. Lord, when I was out there just doing things contrary to your will. Lord, you still kept me, Lord. Lord, you say you're still, I'm still your son, Lord. But, Lord, when I found you. Lord, when I found you in the depths of my heart, Lord, Lord, I knew right then that there would be a brighter day. And Lord, I know from that day on, Lord, Lord, you stepped into my life, Lord. You touched me in a mighty way, Lord. You changed my life. You changed the way I think, Lord. You changed the way I walk, Lord. You changed the way I talk, Lord. You changed the way I act, Lord. And Lord, I thank you for it, Lord. Lord, somebody here today, Lord, I don't know about their problems today, Lord, but Lord, you know about them. Somebody, Lord, is dealing with a serious headache problem, Lord. Lord, somebody is dealing with it real bad, Lord, but Lord, I come to tell them right now, just call out your name, Lord. Just call on the name of Jesus. All they have to do is just open up their heart. Just call on the name of Jesus right now. The doctor can't do you no good no more. He ain't got nothing that the Lord has. For the Lord has it all. Just call on his name right now. Call on the name of Jesus. He'll come and see about you. I don't care what your problem is. Just call on the name of Jesus. Call his name. The one who hung on Calvary. The one who shed his blood for each and every one of us. That precious name, Jesus. Every time I call his name, it just makes me feel good all over. Every time I call his name, it just makes me jump for joy. Every time I call on the name Jesus, it just make me think about those troubles I don't have no more. Every time I call on the name of Jesus, he's my comforter. He's my peace in a weary land. He's my joy for tomorrow. So I know, I want you to know his name. Just call on the son, Jesus, as we all pray in his name, in Jesus' name, we pray. I'm gonna hide behind that old mountain. The 
then you ought to tell somebody else. We got something to be thankful for. Many reasons to praise his name. He is worthy to be praised. Now, in order to get your blessing, sometimes you got to be a blessing. Put something in it, you'll get something back out of it. So we don't want you to feel like you got to be stiff neck here. You got to sit back for your hand and, and wait on it to come to you. Meet it halfway. Reach out. Get involved in our praise service. Amen. You can stand up. You can sing along. Amen. Even if you sing like Deepa Whipple. <laughs> and me. <laughs> you can still sing along. Okay, so we want to welcome you to Canaan. This is, as you heard, our 32nd church anniversary. And we have a visiting church here. We want to welcome you. And we're going to turn the hands over now to the pastor. Good evening. Uh-uh. Need to holler at me. Good evening. Good evening. I don't know how strange it appears to you, but uh, we are happy today. Amen. We are celebrating our, what anniversary is this? Our 32nd year together. And I'm excited about it. The 32nd, the, the, the 32 years that we stop to pause and say thank you. It is because God has brought us from a long, long way. He has allowed us to construct a beautiful edifice. He has allowed us to be Warmly accepted by him. God has just done so much for Canaan. Amen. I'm proud of every deacon we've got. 30 some deacons. Am I right? 30 some deacon. 30 some deaconess. Some preachers. A pastor. <laughs> Do you all know what I'm doing standing up here? I'm really, I'll be honest with you, I'm really buying some time. The musician hadn't got here yet. And I'm buying time. And I don't think I'm buying it roughly. I think I'm doing pretty good. If you are in Christ Jesus today, and you are not doing nothing, ain't worth nothing, and don't look like you'll ever get nothing, you need to recheck yourself. Amen. You need to become acquainted with the God that I serve and the, the Canaanites are serving. You need to know what your God has done. If he hadn't done anything for you, you ought to be able to get up right now, go home, lock your doors, pull your shades down, take your telephone off a hold, and, and, and just praise the Lord. Now, I'll tell you something going to happen if you do it that way. When you come in, the window's going to be all locked. and closed. When you, close, when you come in, let the Lord come in. He will come in. And you're talking about having the time. Just you. And if you never had a good time with the Lord, you ought to choose a time. Amen. Just take you some time. Yes, sir. Nobody but you. Cut the children to loose. Let, let them go out and play. You keep them out there playing with other things. Let them play. And have a little talk with Jesus. Whatever is wrong, whatever is going contrary to the will of God, just a little talk with Jesus. Whatever you're experiencing that's negative, whatever you're trying to do and you seem like you can't get nowhere, just a little talk with Jesus will make it all right. Oh, y'all don't even hear me. I'm excited because we've come 32 years together and I still don't look like I'm no more than 32. I know why you don't want to sit here and smile and want to act like it's, you know, it's rough. We got air conditioning on this, shooting air. I understand why you you just never seen a young man look old. Amen. God has blessed us so. Canaanites ought to be 
cheering. I'm going to be bubbling with joy. Amen. Your, your musician got here yet? He by himself. They can sing by themselves? Oh, let's put them to work then. Amen. We used to didn't have no pianos. Amen. We have always been like we are. We've been rough around here. Amy, can y'all sing my music? Got it. Amen. Give me my hand. Now he 
can do what he, what he did before. Now he's the same yesterday and forevermore. If God, if God, and he won't change. We thank God for this number, Amen. for these um, people, for sharing with us. Amen. And that's a great warning to you if you're thinking about turning around or going upside down somewhere else. The God we serve will never change. Amen. 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 They've done a beautiful job. Amen. Amen. Praising the Lord. We are certainly appreciative for that. I want to take this time to welcome you for uh, the celebration of our 23rd, uh, 32nd. You know, I'm getting younger, you know. Thanks, thanks so much. For our 23rd. Uh, how many is it? They got, 30, they got 32 on here. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. You sure that's right? Yes, sir. Is that right, Deacon? What's his name? Is that right? Yes, sir. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yes, sir. Tell them they don't know that. <laughs> 30 seconds. I'm happy to be here today. Amen. If you're a child of God, you've been born again, there's no need to have a welcome. Amen. Amen. If you don't feel the presence of the Lord now, Amen. telling you you're welcome ain't going to be no good. Amen. If we can't if we can't shake your hand and look at you and smile and say it's good to see you, we are all messed up. Yes, Amen. And we shouldn't go another thirty two years. I don't know where you'll be here now. I plan on being here. I'm, I'm planning. Jim and I are going to be here with the chairman and, and, and we, all of y'all are gonna be here with me. Amen. If you got that going away mentality, you're going away anyhow. But I thank God for you. We appreciate you coming and sharing with us on our 32nd church anniversary. Amen. And I'm just as happy as I can be because I'm pastoring one of the best churches in the states Amen. of the United States. Amen. Amen. It's not about me. This is not my anniversary. I don't believe in them. Not so some people get mad. But I don't believe in anniversaries. I don't believe in selling in churches. Now, I got nothing to do with women. I don't call preachers. But I don't have nothing, nothing to say negative about a woman if God calls her to preach. Amen. Amen. If you don't believe he can call, use anybody. Ask, um, who was that uh, uh, that the, the Lord used? A crow, a rooster. A rooster. God can use anybody. And anything. Now, I know how some preachers feel, but I ain't got nothing to do with your feeling. My calling is in Christ Jesus. Amen. If he could call me, which he did, if he could call me, he can call anybody. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for the presence of the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ for us today. The Lord is good and he's brought us from a long, long way. Amen. We have on this program this agenda that's printed out. If you'll stand with me, the litany of dedication. You should never get together without saying something about your Savior, your Master. Amen. Amen. He keeps us together. Yes, and we ought to be thankful for that. The litany of dedication is listed on your program. All right, here we go. Having been led by the hand of God and enabled by His grace and power to worship, we now stand in this holy place presence and dedicate our being to him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget my all his benefits. Bless his holy name forever. For the worship of God in prayer and praise, for the preaching of everlasting the gospel of Jesus Christ, for the observance of the New Testament ordinances of baptism and the Lord's Supper. We dedicate for the spirit of our children, for their nurture in the instruction of the Lord, for the Christian education of our youth, for their enlistments 
in the kingdom of God. We with the prayer that all those who preach and teach here, now and in years to come, may be endowed with the Holy Spirit rightly to divide the word of truth. We dedicate ourselves to Christ. We, we the people of this church and congregation, grateful for our fathers and members of our own Lord, and bound by the ties of Christian love, dedicate ourselves anew to the worship of God in this place. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine. Leaning on the everlasting arms, every heart, every voice lifted up to the worship and praise of our God. Everybody, everybody, lift them up. What a fellowship! What What a blessedness. What a peace in mind. Leaning on everlasting. Stanza number three. What? What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on You may be seated. We're going to come together now and receive the pastor's offering, the tithe belonging to our God. Those of you who have yet to render your tithe, we ask that you would do so at this hour, that you would keep God pressed in your mind, that the memory and everlasting truth of his praises will be ever on your lips. The deacons are going to come and assist me as we prepare to receive the offering. Thank you so much. The deacons holding the trays will receive the love offering. Hear me good. The deacons holding the trays will receive the love offering. We ask that you would not forget this offering. The importance of it will be explained to you at the conclusion of our services. The deacons holding the trays or holding the baskets will receive the tithe and your offering for this service. We ask that you would give as the Lord has blessed you. Amen. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for the blessings that you wrought upon us. We thank you for this place in which we worship you, which we praise your holy name. Grant the visitation of your Holy Spirit in this service. To this, our sister church, we pray for the deliverance, and we pray for the truth of thy word to be imparted upon the face and the lifting of all of us. Grant it now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The deacons and the preachers will come and give their offerings.
Did the deacons come yet? You've already been up here. All right. Ushers, you may come. The ushers will give you directions on each side, starting in the rear, as you come with your offerings.
lifts by our heads. Our Father, we come at this hour just to say thank you. Thank you for being so good and so kind. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your peace. Thank you, Father, for all the givers. Bless the hands of all of those that gave. Bless the heart of those that had a desire to give, but they didn't have the means. Now let it be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom. For it is in Jesus' name we do ask it all. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's 
in my heart. With you, I'll be. receiving them. Amen. We're happy to have a roster of preachers, some up here and some out there. Those up here, we're happy to have them. Thank God for them. Reverend Hood and Reverend Campbell and uh, Reverend Jelks, Alfie. Amen. Reverend Emmett Anaton, Amen. Amen. pastor of the Historical Friendship Baptist Church. Amen. And we're happy to have Reverend uh, Keith Moore. Amen. He's scheduled to preach this Amen. evening. I'm just elated to have him here. I believe he's a son of this church. Am, am I right, preacher? Uh, I say son of the church because he's out of this church. He's a member. You have to be careful nowadays who you put your membership in. They're getting rid of preachers so fast. Amen. Oh, the pastor who's been there, pastor who's been there 32 years. All right. And you haven't been there a day any longer. Bye, bye, bye. But we're happy to have Pastor Moore. Amen. <laughs> we know he will preach, he can preach. Amen. 
You can wake him up at 12 or 1 o'clock at night if it's his wife and let him talk on the phone. She's in the choir stand, so we're happy to have her tonight. The boy's a preaching boy. And um, if we welcome him by our amens, etc., he'll preach. All right, man. He come to preach. I love him as a son. I love him as a brother. Reverend Keith Moore, pastor of the St. Matthew's Baptist Church in Auburn, Alabama. And I know how hard it is to get people to walk across the street with you nowadays. Amen. All right, man. But his choir has taken the time. Yeah want to be represented by him as they are by us. All right. Amen. Will you say amen? Amen. Reverend Keith Moore. Amen. Giving praises to our God. It is good to be back home. Amen. Again to my daddy. <laughs> and he knows what I'm talking about. Um, he knew my mother. Amen. <laughs> Amen. My pastor, right. um, Dr. Carter, to his lovely wife, Mama Ann. Right. Amen. 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 To my lovely wife, Sister Suzette Moore. Amen. And to one of the best churches in Alabama. St. Matthew's Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. I want our members to stand so I won't have to do it after church. We brought what we could today, but I'm going to ask that they will stand, if you will, from the choir loft out in the audience. Amen. 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 I have two urshas, uh, two or three urshas. Raise your hand on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm happy that Daddy asked me to come <laughs> um, back to preach. Now I'm gonna get all this out of the way because when I get to preaching, I won't have much to say. But I'm always coming to Canaan All right. uh, sometime through the week uh, to pick up pastor to go out to lunch. And uh, when we get there, I'm thinking he's going to go in his pocket <laughs> and I end up paying. And we was together on Good Friday, when my uncle passed, he was with me when I got the phone call. And um, Pastor had me at Ryan's, and um, I asked him, what are you drinking? And I thought it was sweet tea, but it was sweet tea and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> So I followed suit. <laughs> and um, we had a good meal. And I, uh, I thank God for my pastor because I got all of my pastoral experience from Dr. Carter. Amen. And I, I tell my members that, you know, I got my experience from my pastor. I watched him, how he pastored this church 
and I somewhat do the same thing. And um, I joined this church when I was 17 years old. Amen. Amen. And come August the 20, the Lord let me live. And I'm looking forward to see that day. I will be 44 years old. That's a long time. And I think I still look good. I'm like pastor. Amen. I think I still look good. I want to thank my nephew, Reverend Kelly Seymour Jr. from coming all the way from um, Carrollton uh, by way of Jackson. He's in college now at Jackson State in uh, Alabama. And my nephew, Minister Jalen Lopez Moore on the drums. Let's give them some love, if you will. <laughs> I got closer to the church, I told my wife, I said, I'm getting nervous. I said, I don't normally get nervous going to Canaan. But I said, I got nervous time I hit the corner. Amen. Amen. Let me uh, recognize my wife's pastor. Amen. Uh, Reverend Dr. Emmett Anderton. Amen. Let's give him some love. Amen. Just a verse, and I want to preach and hurt and get out of here to get something to eat. Amen. Because I know Canaan can cook, and I love to eat, and my folk love to eat. Amen. Amen. If y'all help me, I'll be out of here. Because this morning, I, I told my members I'm going to hit it and quit it. Amen. Amen, that's exactly what I did. And I'm going to hit it and quit it this evening. Because I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. Amen. 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 Give God a hand praise. <laughs> thinking about 32 years of service. Thinking about it, thinking about it. And I want to say something like this. I... I love down down the line. Oh, I wonder sometimes how I may. How I may How I Just a little boy walking the street in Lynette, Alabama. Didn't know where my mother was. Didn't find out who my daddy was till I got grown. People said I would never will mount up to anything. But yeah. Look at me now. I want to tell y'all I made it. Yeah, yeah. Lord, I made it. Till the night. But you know one thing, I didn't listen to what they said. I kept my hand 
in God's hand. Oh, yeah. And I want to tell you, Canaan, I want to tell you, visitor, I look down, 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 down the line. Oh, I wonder, yeah, sometimes how I may. How I How I Anybody here know Anybody here How I Raise your children. How I Some of y'all know something about scraping, uh, trying to get by. How I Come on, help me cry. Help me cry. How I Many times didn't have the money to pay my bill, but yes, I didn't know whether or not my life was gonna be cut off. Yes, I folk talked about me, lied on me, but yes, I don't worry about what they try to say or do to you. Oh. How many of y'all know God got a way of trying to say all yes, I. Mama left me, Mama left me all the years I, yes, I. Somebody know God will be a mother for you, yes, I. Daddy gone now, but won't God be a father? Yes, I. Some of y'all lost your job, some of y'all lost your job, but you still got a smile on your face. Yeah, yes, I. Yes, I. Pastor, sometimes I get lonely. Sometimes I get so lonely. Thinking about, thinking about, thinking about how people treat me sometimes. But when I look back over my life and see where I was and look where I am right now, I tell the Lord, You brought me all the way. You brought me all the way. I made it, y'all. I made it, y'all. Got a roof over my head. Yes, I. I don't care how bad things get, you can make it. I, I don't care how bad things get, you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Tell, tell your neighbor, tell your friend, tell everybody. I'm crying now. I'm crying now. You laughing at me now, but one of these days, one of these old days, I'm gonna be all right. Yes, I. Let me leave this thing alone here. Oh, me. Anybody here know you made it by the grace of God? Yes, I. Some of y'all women have to raise your child without a man. Didn't God bless you? Did God help you? Ain't God all right? Yes, I. I don't care 
care what folks say, I know I made it. Yes, I ain't got to beg nobody for nothing. I know the man upstairs, he ain't never been laid on child support. Yes, I. what we sang at St. Matthew. When I get happy, when I feel good, I tell them, yes, I'm <laughs> Yeah. I... Ooh. I came through the storm and but yes, I made If you have your owner's manual, if you have your owner's manual, I want to call your attention to the Old Testament scripture. It is housed in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 1. Nehemiah chapter 1 and the genesis of our text we began at verse 4 Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 4 and it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven and said I beseech thee O Lord God of heaven the great and terrible God that keepeth covenant All right. and mercy for them and love him and observe his commandments right. and it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept All right. and mourned certain and fasted and prayed yeah. before the God of heaven. Amen. I want to pontificate I want to carry on the dialogue I simply want to preach about red eyes and blistered hands. Red eyes and blistered hands. My brothers and sisters, Nehemiah is not really 
the main character of this text. But it's God himself who is the center of attraction. Nehemiah record tell us that Nehemiah was a servant to the king of King Artaxes. Nehemiah was a cup bearer. And by being a cup bearer, it was an awesome task. Yes. Yes. It may not seem to you, but it was an awesome task because Nehemiah was the man. Amen. That would bring King Artaxes his cup. And Nehemiah had to stand before the king Amen. and taste yeah. that which was in the cup Amen. before he would give it to the king. Yeah. What if someone wanted to poison Amen. the king? Then Nehemiah would be the first one Amen. that would drop dead in front of the king. I am of the opinion today that we don't have enough cup barrels in the church. Not so much of bringing Dr. Carter his coffee, water, or tea. But my brothers and sisters, there are lost souls out there need to be saved. Amen. Amen. And we need to drink out of that cup yeah. All right. before we let the sinner drink out of it. Amen. All right. Amen. Why? Because there are people are pausing the minds there are false teaching. Yeah. There are some of everything going on. Yeah. All right. Jesus, as I look at it, prayed in the garden and said, not my will, All right. but thine will be done. Amen. He said, if it's thy will, let this cup pass from me. I'm glad that the cup did not pass from Jesus because if he had not a drink out of that cup, you and I wouldn't be here today. If he had not a drink out of that cup, we wouldn't be able to take some things that we are taking now. We wouldn't know what we know now if he had not a drink out of that cup. I want to tell you, thank God for the cup. Now on the flip side, you really got to be careful. Who you let bring you something to drink. Now I know the scripture says whatever you pray over, whatever you pray over, if anyone bring anything deadly to you, it shall not harm you. But the scripture also tell us be wise as a serpent. And to be harmless as a dove. Nehemiah was a cup bearer for king, yeah. for the king, and yeah. 
It was an awesome task being a servant. And I want to tell all of us here today, that's all we are. Amen. Servants. That's all. It's not about position. It's about service. In a, in a servant. Because how can you Lead where you have not gone. And how can you talk what you don't know? In order to be a good leader, you must learn how to be a good follower. It don't make no difference what your education status may be. You need to learn how to shut up and follow somebody. Nehemiah was a cup bearer. And my brothers and sisters, this cup bearer, whatever he saw, whatever he heard, he kept it to himself. Amen. That's the reason you can't let everybody be in your corner. All right. You can't let everybody be your ace boon coon. Amen. Your road dog because all right, all right. some of them talk Amen. too much. He was a cup bearer and he was a servant to the king. He was a servant to the king. And he, he didn't mouth out. All right. He didn't give no lip, no mouth. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like some of who the pastor think he is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Get his own coffee. Yeah. Get his own water. Let him get his own water. Yeah. Who he think? He ain't my daddy. All right. I know they don't say it here, but they say it down there. But I want to tell you, he's your spiritual daddy. Yeah, amen. He's your spiritual daddy. And, 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 and whatever you do for the man of God, I want to tell you, the Lord will give you a profit reward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't let everybody be your cup bearer. Amen. Because They'll do like that movie in Roots. You know what happened? You know what Kizzy did? Well, we got some more Kizzy's. Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a cup bearer. And by being a cup rabbi, cup bearer, it was an awesome task. But now, as time went on, one day Nehemiah was, was in the kingdom and there was some fellow uh, Conrads came to the kingdom and they sat down and had a talk with Nehemiah and said, Nehemiah, our homeland, right. Jerusalem, yeah. is lying down in rubbish. Yeah. Jerusalem, the wall has been torn asunder and Nehemiah had concern and when Nehemiah friends left Nehemiah had to chair the king his cup but he had a certain look on his face and Nehemiah looked at the king the king looked at Nehemiah and said to him Nehemiah is something about your countenance have changed. Yeah. Amen. Nehemiah tried to put it off. Didn't, didn't want the king to really know what was going on. But you know, my brothers and sisters, when you really know a person, yeah. show sure them no, you can tell when yeah. something's wrong. Yeah. Nehemiah had tears in his eyes. And the king asked him what happened. He said to the king, King, I just got word. That my homeland is lying down in rubbish. Yeah. All right, all right. And I need, I need to, for you to give me leave of absence. Yeah. So I can go home and help rebuild the walls. Yeah. It's right here in the text. The Bible said, and when he heard these 
words. Nehemiah sat down. I want to tell you, I don't care how saved and how holy you are. There are some news. Will make you sit down. Yeah. There are some news will make you want to fall to your knees. Yeah. There are some news will bring tears yes, to your eyes. Yeah. The Bible said, the Bible said, the Bible said, he said, when I heard these words, I sat down, I wept certain yeah. days. That says to me, we don't have too many church members are really concerned about what's going on in and around the church. When turmoil is, is arising, when trouble is running here and there, we got Christians, church folk, go home and sit down like a baby and act like nothing is going on. I want to tell you when things are not right in the church, it ought to bring tears Amen. to your eyes. Amen. It, it ought to bring tears to your eyes. The Bible said he, he, he cried oh. over what happened to Jerusalem. Yeah. I want to ask you, anybody here cried about Canaan yeah. lately? Amen. You don't have to cry with tears coming down your eyes, but have anybody voiced their concern about things that not going right? And instead of talking it down, why not try to help build it up? Yeah. I want to tell you. He sat down. He said, "When I was, was when I when I heard these words, nobody lifted a finger yeah. to go back home." It, 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 I wonder sometimes how people can leave leave the church and go off to college get their degree and then won't even come back to be a servant they'll come back to the city to visit the church that they once was they said a member of and then go cross town and join another church at the same we go revving in your face because the church I'm at now is a elite yeah. all right all right all right look over the church that 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 raised you look over the church that fed you look over the church that helped you but let me tell you one thing this building can't help nobody. Yeah. It's got to be on the inside. Yeah. Nehemiah wept. He cried. He mourned. He mourned. He mourned. He mourned. He mourned. There are times when you are going through, you can't find words. And sometimes you have to just mourn. Yeah. And don't you know the Lord knows the language of the groan? He mourned, he, and not only he, he, he prayed, he prayed, he fasted. Fasting is when you, when you deny yourself. Amen. When you deny yourself for the Lord. When you deny yourself. How many of you denied yourself Amen. lately? You can fast in all different ways. You can go on a meat fast. You can go on a soda fast. You, 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 there are all different fasts, but as long as you're doing it for the glory. But God, Nehemiah, Nehemiah, he cried. Now, Pastor Moore, what do your subject have to do with red eyes and blistered hands? I'm going to tell you before I leave. Nehemiah, the king said to Nehemiah, what can I do? He said, I need a leave of absence. I need to go back home and to help build the walls of that great city. If it is to be, it's up to me. I got to go back. It's not about money. It's not about prestige. It's not about position. I got to go back. All right. All right. 
I got to go back. I got to go back. I, I got to go back to help the help the church. I got to go back to help the community. I got to go back and help the school system. I got to go back. He said, will you give me leave of absence? Give me 30 days. All right. Just let me go back. All right. By that time, the queen walked in. And she kind of boosted along, told the king, let him go. Let him go. It's good to have a good woman beside you. Let me say that again, men. It's good to have a good woman Beside you, not behind you, but beside you. Said, let him, let him go. Said, well, I'm going to give you some letters so you can give to the forest committee, give to all these other other committees so you can get material. Nehemiah and his entourage. Left, and when they left, they went by night and got there and surveyed the city. Surveyed the city. I want to tell you, because you are in position now, it don't mean you know what you're doing. I got it. I got it. You hear something? I got it. I got it. You don't have nothing, baby. You don't know what you're doing right now. You got to, you got to listen to somebody. We don't want to listen to folks that already have gone where we need to go. Have already been where we need to go. I might get a little ebonics up here. I got it from Pastor. (laughs) He wanted to go back to rebuild. The walls. How many want to come back to help build the Sunday school? Help build the missionary department. Help build the hostess committee. Help build the choir back. Help build the deacon ministry. But you only do it by the direction of the man of God. All right. Nehemiah went to survey the wall to see what he needed. All right. And when he was surveying the wall, there was some rich Jews, some Balak and Tobias, was standing around laughing, plotting. You know, folk don't want you to do good. Plotting, laughing. And and, and they, 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 they was scandalized. They talking about Nehemiah. Look at him. Who who he think he is. Coming back here trying to tell us what to do. I want to tell you. Nehemiah. Paying no attention. To all of that. He kept on doing. What he's supposed to do. And let me tell y'all church. Stop listening to these naysayers. They're trying to tell you how to do your job. Yeah. And they don't know how to do their own job. Right. I tell my members sometimes there ain't no need of someone on the usher's ministry trying to tell the choir how to sing. All right. When you're not in the choir. All right. Y'all don't have it around here, do you? Right. You know, people always want to tell you how to do your job. I want to tell you, if everybody will hold up their own corner, I want to tell you, we can get things done. Nehemiah, 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 Nehemiah wept. He cried over what was going on to Jerusalem. And Jerusalem was known as the city of God, that compact city. When one was prayed, they would kneel in their chambers and look toward Jerusalem, look toward the hills because they felt that God dwelled in the hills. But I don't want to handcuff God to the hills because God is everywhere at the same time. Nehemiah had red eyes and blistered Hey. Now, red eyes 
science? Yes. yes. There are medical science says there are some things that can react the liver. And it'll show up in your eye. All right. Tiredness yes, All right. will make you have a red eye. Amen. Overworked Amen. will make you have a red eye. Sleeplessness Amen. will make you have red eyes. All right. Ultimately, alcohol. Don't y'all get thirsty. <laughs> what makes you have red eyes? Amen. Nehemiah had red eyes because he had been crying and weeping and crying. And it, he developed red eyes. All right. Jesus said, weep not for me. Amen. Yes. But weep for this perverse generation. Yeah. Weep for your children. Don't weep for me, but weep for your children. They need you. Yeah. All right. He had red eyes. Yeah. My, 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 my. Another thing is he had blistered hands. Oh, yeah. He had blistered hands. Mm -hmm. Why did he have blistered hands? Because Nehemiah was just like me. All right. Never had a job Amen. in all the days of my life. I don't know nothing but preaching. Amen. Nehemiah's hands had never been to any hard labor before. All right. But Nehemiah had a mind to work. Amen. And that's what we need in the church. We need somebody that got a mind Amen. to work. And I'm, I'm sure in these 32 years, somebody has been working. Amen. He had a mind to work. Nehemiah got his hammer. Got his hammer. He hammered in the morning. He hammered in the evening. He hammered in the night time. All right. Nehemiah kept on building. Kept on building on the wall because he had blistered hand. Now, I done had some blistered hand where it got right across here. And it hurt so bad. My mama used to say, Come here, baby. Let me kiss it and make it better. And go on back out there and get some more wood in. Yes, I had blistered hands. I want to tell you, Nehemiah had blistered hands. He was there in Jerusalem and he was working on the walls. He was working on the walls of Jerusalem. Yes, why Nehemiah was there in Jerusalem? Yeah. There was some rich Jews. Yeah. All right. There were some Jews there. Yes, didn't want Nehemiah to do the job. Yeah. And you know there are some people, uh, if they are not the one that thought of the program, they will try to discourage other people from uh, working in the church. Yeah. Yeah. Nehemiah was working for the church. And I want to tell you, yes, Nehemiah was thinking about the, what the Jesus said. He said, Upon this rock, yeah. upon uh, this foundation, yeah, yeah upon uh, this confession, right. he said, I will build my church. And how many of y'all around Canaan know that uh, the Lord, uh, he purchased the church yeah. with uh, his own blood? Yeah. And Miramiah, well, uh, he was there in uh, Jerusalem. Oh. 
and oh Lord and Nehemiah was there and, and, and he was there trying oh Lord to build the walls Oh Lord, and uh, yes, and uh, Nehemiah was down that wall, and uh, Tobias and uh, Sambalik, uh, they wanted to uh, try to get Nehemiah uh, to come down uh, off the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, and, uh, and Nehemiah said, oh Lord, I can't come down because the work of the Lord, yes Lord, need to be going on. Oh Lord, and how many of y'all in here know that, uh, yes Lord, that uh, if you work for the Lord, the Lord will, he will take care of you. Yes, Lord, and, and the Bible says that, uh, yes, Lord, the Bible says that the harvest is plenty young, but the laborers are very few. Oh, yeah, I want to tell you, the Lord is looking for some laborers. In his vineyard, I got to get out of here now, y'all. I'm sorry for holding this Lord, but I want to tell y'all the Lord is looking for somebody that's gonna put their hand on the gospel ply and not a little bit. Oh, Lord, is anybody in here? Told the Lord a long time ago, use me, use me, Lord. And I said, Yes, Lord, I want to be like Nehemiah. I can't come down until the work is finished. They call it the race, and not give it to the swiller nor the straw, but to the one that's going to hold out to the end of the world. Is anybody in here where the Bible said, be thou faithful unto them and not unto you. You see, unto you is to the point, but unto is beyond the point. Be thou faithful. Some folk going to be faithful unto you. You hate that feeling unto you. You don't dance by that meaning unto you. You don't call that name. But the Bible said, be thou faithful unto thee. There's a crown laid up. Honey, all right. Is anybody in here? No, you got a crown laid up for you. Yes, sir. Yeah. How many y'all in here know we need some more Nehemiah that's going to have some red eye and some blessed hand going to work till the day is done. I got to get out of here. But I promise the Lord, if you need somebody, here am I. Mama, don't go. Here I am. Daddy don't go You so can Count on me They call all right How many y'all in here Love the church Let me see you wave your hand How many y'all love the church How many y'all Are you willing To do more 
for the kingdom of, of God. Let me see you wave your hand. You may not know a lot, but just you what you got. They call all right. Was anybody in here gonna stay on the wall? They may laugh at you, stay on the wall. They may talk about you, stay on the wall. Oh, stay there. Yes, sir. I had a witness in here. I'm gonna stay there. Be a man, you say. I can't come down. I can't come now. We got too many children. Old drill. Somebody need to help them. I can't come down. We got too many men. Oh, Lord. That need encouragement. I can't come down. So many mothers need some help. Can't come down. Somebody need to come. Go to the prison. Go to the jail. They stay on the wall. Because I can't come now. Ain't God alright? How many of y'all know that him all is just say to say this president my calling to fulfill. Oh, any alright? Any alright? Say yes. Any alright? God bless your heart, children. God bless your heart. What I want. Is anybody, is anybody here know that serving the Lord will pay off? Oh, shut your head. Ah, so will. Won't it pay off after a while? Ah, yeah, yeah. Won't it pay off after a while? Can I get y'all to do me a favor here? Can I get y'all to grab a neighbor by the hand? Can I get y'all, y'all out right there, to grab a neighbor by the hand? Not just two hands, grab one hand. Look your neighbor in the eye. Say, neighbor, you don't know me, and I don't know you. But what I want you to do is, when you get home tonight, uh, Pray, pray, pray for me. Anybody here need prayer? Is anybody here need prayer? Is anybody here know what prayer can do? Won't prayer fix it every time? Won't prayer fix it every time? I wish I had a witness in here. I wish I had a witness in here. Oh Lord, oh Lord, can I get you to do me another favor? Don't grab the same hand. Grab a different person by the hand. Yes Lord, yes Lord. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor, y'all ain't looking at nobody. Say neighbor, I know you're having it rough. I know you're having it hard, but I came to encourage you that I got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. Ah! I don't know. I don't know. I 
Have you tried him? Won't he make a way? I got to 
spiritually bathe in that tomorrow, two or three days later, but just somebody will have say something negative about this preaching. It was because it brought satisfaction to their own soul. All right. 
the man just preached. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you so much. Again, let me thank these preachers and pastors for taking the time to come and share with us. Amen. Now, after that kind of preaching, it's time to eat. We have food prepared for him and his family and his congregation. Say what? Did I open it? I don't think I'm through yet. We are going to the next door in Jemison Hall. We're going to feast. Now, anybody who wants to join, raise your hand. Amen. Amen. And there was no need for opening the doors of the church. Thank you, Reverend Hood. God bless you. Amen. That that's keep mess your mind mess your mind up. Right. Amen. If that if that kind of preaching didn't draw you out of your little hiding place in here, bye, bye, bye. you'll never be lost. Amen. Amen. I'm hungry, and I want the fellowship. And I'm going to announce the benediction and we're going out those double doors right. over into the next area and we're going to feast. We're going to act like children of the king. Amen. 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 Is that all right? Thank That's you so right. much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Amen. I got me a little happy myself. Yeah. I just don't act like y'all act. I go out in the back somewhere. Shed times, tears, and come back for some more. I ain't miss nothing. All right. Hey, Amen. Boy, oh boy. All right. Y'all never heard no preaching like that before, have you? It's been a while. Well, it won't be a while from now on. <laughs> if I don't holler like he holler, don't preach like he preach, it wasn't in me no way. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Chairman of Deacon Boy said, You still a pastor? He got a little thing on. He thought perhaps I wouldn't. Wreck the house. Amen. Amen. I'm just happy. And as a happy man, I will talk and talk and talk. Amen. Those are those are uh, those are those are twin sisters. Yeah, they look good too. Amen. My, did my wife leave yet? I was looking at these two good looking twins. I've got a I've got a sermon that I preach. If I go anywhere, sometimes I preach. You need to know when Amen. to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Are there any further announcements? No. None. Come on. All right. Pastor. Yes, sir. Thank you so very much. I got twins in the choir. These two right here. Really? Mm -hmm. They're young twins. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I love you, Pastor. I love you too. Yeah, we got to get together. It's only you next now. Wait a minute, you <laughs> Did you pay for that last meal we ate together? I did. I don't remember. But I paid for it. You know, I, I, had I got my, a little bit of all I had my wife, now I got some timers, but I had my wife on the phone. You were with me, you heard me talking to her. I don't know who you were talking to. <laughs> Amen. Oh, we're going to let that alone. <laughs> Praise the Lord. For those that haven't, that, that uh, don't remember my wife, stand up, baby. Amen. My wife don't like when I tell this, but you know, I'm happy. I'm happy, uh, and Pastor Carter and Sister Ann them know, amen, what kind of preacher and young man I was to end up with a good woman. Yeah. 
Amen. Amen. I'm more settled. Amen. I'm not wild like I used to be. I thank God for my wife. Amen. Yeah. I think it looked good on me, don't it? I got to lose it. But anyway, my wife, my wife has received her BA degree. And uh, over a year ago, she received her master's degree in business administration. And, uh, and then she finished her course of grant writing. Amen. Amen. So she said, you just tell it, baby, I just can't help it. Amen. Amen. I can't help it. I want everybody to know I got a smart wife. Amen. Amen. And a God-fearing wife. I wouldn't take nothing for my wife. And I mean nothing. Let's stand, y'all. Pastor, is anything else? Okay, pastor. I'm right behind you, pastor. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest from the bind, hence now and forevermore. Lord, bless the food that has been prepared in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.